Hi guys, today we have the opportunity to continue with the second part on this recording of your personal resilience. I quickly just want to recap one or two of the critical statements that I made in our previous session. First of all, I spoke about the Rocky movie metaphor, about life itself that's most probably going to give you the hardest knocks compared to anything else that we are going to face. None of us predicted the challenges with COVID-19 or even from a business perspective, Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution's challenge that we all are now facing on a day-to-day -day basis. The second element that I spoke on was the burnout curve and what happens when my nervous system or the biochemistry within my body gets out of sync. Too much cortisol, the stress hormone, too much adrenaline, and I'm getting in this worked up hypertension state, almost like I had too much coffee again this afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the challenge. A lot of the literature that we see out there and a lot of the recommendation is a very one shoe fits all approach. Now, obviously generalizing, there are a number of great things that in theory should be helping for all of us how to build your resilience and how to make sure I deal with the setbacks, the frustration, the criticism, and just all the difficulties that we're busy facing in life at this point in time. However, you and I are unique individuals. We are special made in God's image with a unique calling, a unique genetic makeup, a unique environmental makeup, how we grew up, our quirkinesses, our likes, dislikes, messinesses, everybody is unique. Therefore, when we chat about your resilience, for me it's important also to consider your unique pattern and what you can do specifically within your framing to help you to keep a healthy and a balanced approach towards life. Now guys, there's many different evaluations out there on the market. Most of them highlight very, very good elements of who we are. Some of these falls in the world of psychometric evaluation. If you work with psychologists or industrial psychologists, some of these are open source tools that we have. I would like to highlight today just one tool that you can work with at this point in time, free of charge, no cost involved, that's going to give you good, quite good insights into your own patterns and how to build your resilience. This tool's name is Shadow Match. One word, Shadow Match, you can go to their website, shadowmatch.com, and on the website, there is a link that will take you for a free Shadow Match evaluation. Please watch the videos, please follow the instructions, and make sure you understand exactly how to do this evaluation. For the average adult person, it will most probably take you about 25, even up to 40 or 50 minutes to complete the entire evaluation. The evaluation is also validated for children from about the age of 14, 15, so it should be relevant if you've got high school teenagers within your household that they can also do the shadow match evaluation. Why shadow match? Well, shadow match is an assessment or evaluation that's gonna help us to understand your natural neurological framing. When you look at the results, there are different behavioral patterns that it's going to highlight. Actually, the normal graph would have 19 different behavioral patterns. Now, I'm not here to promote shadow match. I'm here to use the tool to understand in a time of resilience what to do. In the shadow match profile, it's going to highlight you which behavioral patterns comes most natural to you as an individual. When I go to my current profile, number one is self-confidence. Number two, my problem solving ability. Number three, my leadership ability. Number four, my responsiveness. And number five, innovation. So out of the different profiles it highlights, it's showing me that these five patterns, due to my genetic predisposition, I can only blame my parents for that, and also the environment in which I was raised up, how I grew up to be an adult man, and also how I approach life is locked up in those five elements. What I can also read from this report are what of the elements of my behavior that's the most poorly developed and I should not spend a lot of time with those elements. My three bottom ones, number one is routine, number two, individual inclination, number three, altruism. Yeah, I know for somebody within a social environment and a pastoral role, it's always funny, but I have a specific calling, I have a specific makeup, and I thank God for my profile. Every person's profile is unique. Every person's beautiful. Now, let me explain how your brain works when it comes to this profile. 
when you drive in normal morning traffic on the N1 highway between Pretoria and say Johannesburg. It is totally clogged up, it is messed up, you struggle and with a lot of frustration and two hours later you were able to get through the traffic and arrive at the destination. I don't know if you've perhaps had the privilege of traveling the Ben Skuman Highway at this point in time, but it's basically five lanes that's open. You can drive 120 kilometers an hour any time of day because it's this big open road. Very little frustration, very little challenge. There's a good flow. What Shadow Match helps us to understand is which pathways or pipelines or highways are the big open ones that helps you to move forward quite effectively. And those ones are your top patterns. Once again in my life, when I feel my resilience are being, is being drained out, when I feel the pressure, when I feel anxiety, and I need to ask, how can I move forward effectively? It doesn't help, I'm going to look for a little bush road that is overgrown through the Amazon forest and I'm trying to push through this with all my might. That takes effort, that tires me out even more. In my case, I should not be moving to an environment that's going to demand routine or I shouldn't be working a lot in an individual setting or I shouldn't be focusing on altruism a lot because in my life those patterns drain me. What I need to do is figure out how do I incorporate more self-confidence because I'm confident in the line of work and what I do in life. How do I focus more on problem solving, tackle the challenges, work through it, it comes natural to me. My role in the life, I'm an executive consultant, basically day in and day out, that's what I do. I help executives to solve issues within their organizations. It's a natural flow. Number three, my leadership ability. How can I take lead within my organization and the different influence spheres that I work with? Looking at responsiveness, don't procrastinate, but effectively moving forward and dealing with the challenges. And also number five on my list, innovation. We call these top five elements my weapons of war. When I engage in a world that pretty much emotionally seems to be at war, I want to have the right tools in my toolbox to remain resilient as I go forward. And I want to be careful to utilize certain patterns which is not natural to me. I therefore want to invite you today to just jump onto the Shadow Match website. It's actually a proudly South African based organization. Do your Shadow Match profile. Have a read at all the different functionalities and habits they are busy presenting to you. And then consider how can I use my five strongest habitual patterns day to day to help me move through this turbulent time of COVID-19, remaining more resilient, building more resilience and just functioning so much more effectively as I go forward. I also want to encourage you to share this with your loved ones, once again your teenage children, because between my wife and I what makes for a very interesting discussion is my top five patterns and her bottom patterns is almost exactly the opposites of each other, which makes for a very interesting family dynamic. But through good conversation in a season like this, I learn how to leverage off my wife, who's perhaps much stronger within individual inclination, she's a much stronger introvert than I am, also how to leverage off her ability to keep routine, because the children, I've got young children, needs to be in a routine setup and not to force me into that dynamic. Opposite way around, my wife again, who's perhaps not too strong in leadership or responsiveness or problem solving, learn how to leverage off what I have to present into this current season. And within the context of our partnership, our relationship, our marriage, we learn how to optimize the dynamics of what comes natural for me, where my strength and my ability to be resilient flow from, and the things that tires her out, how she can leverage off me, and obviously vice versa. If you have teenage children, obviously that dynamics can become even better. For those of you who are watching also just this recording, if you're in a role or responsibility at work where you perhaps need to lead a team or you're a business owner or organization owner, also a wonderful tool to take towards your, uh, your current employees and to optimize the environment. Whether you have a full staff complement, whether they are decentralized working in a virtual space, whether you have just 30% of your people back um, in certain level four lockdown challenges that we currently are facing with, whatever the context might be, I think to have a better understanding of the unique approach that every individual brings to the table and we as leaders of our households, of our businesses, wherever it might be, can help to optimize effective engagement.
I hope these two videos just stimulated your thinking concerning resilience, how to build resilience, how to remain resilient also, but also perhaps to identify just if there are some of those red lights in the burnout curve, please be careful. My last word of advice, in a season such as this, don't isolate yourself. Please speak to us within the context of the church, within the context of your social environment, perhaps your family, perhaps your friends, perhaps your work, but please don't isolate in a season such as this. If you're seeing red lights and you're unsure how to deal with it, we are one phone call away, one email away. Please make contact and let God's family support you through this difficult and challenging season. Thank you very much.